Hello, friends. Is there anyone who's never dreamed of having a flying car? Many authors of science fiction movies, cartoons, and video games continuously show the viewers their own idea of the flying transportation of the future. And now, the future has come. A car-aircraft hybrid has been developed in Slovakia. It is powered by a BMW engine and uses regular petrol. Watch the video till the end for all the details available about this vehicle, as well as its current and future advantages and disadvantages. On June 28, 2021, an important event happened. A flying car produced and patented by Klein Vision landed in Bratislava Ivanka International Airport. It was invented by Professor Stefan Klein and businessman Anton Zayats. Aircar made a 35-minute flight 70 kilometers to the east from the city of Nitra to the Slovak capital. To be fair, it should be noted that it was Aircar's 142nd successful landing, but the first long-distance flight. Surprisingly, Klein piloted the automobile himself. One can only envy his confidence in his own revolutionary invention. The professor has been engaged in similar projects for about 20 years. He has already developed several Aircars, some of them for the Aeromobile company, where he worked until 2016. Klein also plans to bring amphibious vehicles to the market for landing on water. By the way, he's not planning on having them an underwater operation, to the disappointment of deep introverts. Aircar is a two-seater, four-wheeled transformer. To convert to the airplane mode, the rear of the vehicle lengthens, exposing compartments with retractable wings. The transformation process of the foldable wings is fully automated. A two-bladed propeller is used for takeoff and in flight. When the flight is over, the wings are retracted back into the car and then it moves like a regular ground vehicle. Air car can fly for about 1,000 kilometers at an altitude of 2.5 kilometers. It is also capable of carrying two people with a total maximum carrying capacity of 200 kilograms. According to the developers, Aircar is well-suited for using an unmanned control system and, in the future, can become the basis for a commercial taxi. The car developed a cruising speed of 170 km per hour in the air. The first version of the Airmobile, the Aircar Prototype 1, is now in use. It has a 160-horsepower engine with fixed propeller and ballistic parachute. Under the supervision of the Civil Aviation Authority, Aircar performed over 40 hours of test flights, including tight 45-degree turns, stability, and maneuverability tests. A more powerful Aircar Prototype 2 is in development. With a variable pitch propeller, it is expected to reach a cruising speed of 300 km per hour and a flight range of 1,000 km. Flying cars are one of the possible solutions to the problem of the overloaded transport infrastructure. We expect that in a few years, air vehicles will be available for purchase on par with traditional ground transportation. This means that the field of air taxis will advance greatly. Yes, test drives of drone taxis have already taken place in Dubai in 2017 and in Moscow in early 2021, but technologies have managed to make a strong leap forward and accelerate the development of air transport. However, the main problem is still relevant. Unlike drone taxis, an air car cannot take off and land vertically and requires a runway. For air car users, traffic jams will virtually cease to be a problem. Of course, over time, air traffic rules will have to be invented, but that's unlikely to happen in the near future. In any case, this way of traveling will be much safer. According to the statistics of accidents and the number of victims, planes are the most reliable mode of transportation while such ground transportation as cars and motorcycles are the most dangerous. As for the state control over the sky, since 2019, drone owners aren't allowed to launch them into the sky without registering them first. In 2021, a new device to deal with unregistered drones was developed in Russia. One of the key advantages of Aircar is its use of internal combustion engines which calls into question the environmental friendliness of this vehicle. We can only hope for the technological achievements of Elon Musk, who will probably help the manufacturers and all mankind in this matter and make a good profit out of it. Flying cars, unlike conventional airplanes, will inevitably be exposed to the harsh conditions found on public roads. 
Minor issues for regular cars, such as potholes, can theoretically cause serious damage to Air Mobile's parts that are necessary for flying. This means that, at the very least, the pre-flight inspection of these vehicles must be particularly thorough. And yes, in order for Klein's unique car to become part of our regular life, they first have to convince regulators of its safety and reliability. Air car drivers will need both a pilot's license and a regular driver's license, and they will both have to be international, just in case. What do you think? How soon will these air vehicles get into the mass market? Share your thoughts, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. See you later.